Hey, g'day people, it's me from Metcalf. So, I hope you guys are going well. It's Christmas time in New Zealand, it's summertime. It's actually a little bit cloudy today. <laughs> There's old Minnie on the beach. Minnie! My mum was born in England in a small little place called the Forest of Dean, which is by Gloucester. It's a magical kind of looking place and I believe that they actually shot Harry Potter there. But what I'm interested in here is sort of like delving into my mum's history and having a look for maybe an emblem that I can carve. And mining was extremely big in the forest. And I have found this image to carve. I'm going to just choose the top bit of it and it is called the Free Miner. And I will go into what a Free Miner is as we go through the video. Okay, so I'm cutting with a cutter burr there, a small sphere one from Dremel. And I want you to notice there, there's a, quite a lot of fuzz coming off one side. But you would have noticed I was going down with the Dremel. Now I'm going to go up. And you can actually see that that fuzz isn't appearing. So I want you to be sort of just aware, when you start out carving, sort of go into the carving. And kind of like an experimental kind of like attitude to it, uh, try out different burrs, see which ones work the best, see which way carving is the best as well, especially with these relief carvings. Uh, sometimes the cutter burrs work really well, sometimes the diamond burrs work really well. It all depends on the wood that you are carving. And always try and work out what you're going to do before you start carving. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take everything back so the man kind of stands out. I'll take those plants sort of forward as well at the same kind of um, plane the man is at. So all the background is going to be behind the man, the plants and that little thing that he's standing on. So I'm using a cutter burr again and I'm just seeing how this one works. I might try a different cutter burr. This cutter burr is quite old and a little bit dull so i'm finding it it's a little bit hard to use and it's also sort of like not leaving the greatest kind of flat surface and essentially sometimes you know people ask me what is the perfect burr well there's no such thing as the perfect burr um, and the best thing you can do is actually use the burrs you've got and try and do the job with those burrs that you've got and and just gradually um, maybe buy different burrs over time you know no need to go and spend lots of money out there and just try the best with what you've got okay so what is a free miner a free miner is really a term an ancient title given to a coal or iron miners in the forest of dean uh, who have earned that right to mine personal plots i believe they have to be born there uh, above 21 years of age. I'm not sure of the other regulations that you have to be a free miner but really we can look at that uh, picture on the right and really that symbolizes the free miners authority above the crown. So I hope my mum uh, likes this. <laughs> she might not have even seen this before. I believe she has. I think she has actually shown me this picture in the past. I can't remember when, but uh, I think it's a cool picture anyway. Okay, so I'm just giving these chisels a quick go. They're from Flex Cut uh, Palm Chisels. They're pretty good actually. I quite enjoyed that little bit there that I did. But you could do it all on the Dremel as well. So just still working on that background. So how do you get into those really small parts? Well, I tend to use the smallest kind of pointy uh, diamond burr that I've got. You can see me there. I went in quite flat and then I've sort of like increased the angle of that to get into that little point there. Just go really slowly and lightly to get out all of the sort of like fuzzy bits on the sides. You can actually even use one of those kind of like mushroom burrs as well and use the edge of that to go in and get into those tight little areas. It's quite a nice way of doing things as well. It's sort of like personal preference what you do to get into those tight areas. 
there I am I'm just sort of showing you again you can sort of like use it not just going sort of back and forward but sort of like uh, how, how would you describe that motion I'm just trying to get out the middle bit there just lightly sort of uh, caressing the wood and there I'm sort of using the top to straighten out that pick and there I'm actually using the top to flatten out sort of the parts that I can't get to with those other cutter burrs and it's really really handy for that because you won't find many burrs with a flat top so I've decided to sort of round off the edges and I'm going to sort of like mount this on a half circle as well so you can display it uh, and so it's like a, a medallion almost and I'm going to carve in what it is on the back and a few little notes. And a little trick, sort of like, you're never going to get that background perfect. So what I do is I'll put in a texture. I know uh, Matt from Cornelius Creations, he uses stippling. And I tend to use uh, these sort of like squares. These are my favourite, uh, but yeah, give it a go, uh, go and check out his channel as well, I think he shows you how to stipple in that quite a bit. So, it's yeah, it's just the way, uh, you might develop completely your own method, uh, but what's good about it is it too, it holds either the paint that you're putting in, or whatever that you put on there. So I'm putting a wood die on there, I think it's uh, uh, mahogany, antique mahogany, that one so it really absorbs into the wood so I then send the man back so he comes back out and really it's sort of like aesthetic choices what you want to do with your carvings from now I kind of f feel like it's a little bit just all too brown all over so I'm going to add a little bit of color to it I got one of these nylon brushes so I'm just going over with that to get rid of all the dust you can vacuum it out doesn't really matter brush it off with a brush so I've decided I am going to paint a little bit of it red like I did on that Santa Claus it's quite a nice old worldy feel I guess I'm gonna paint the crown red should it be blue I'm not sure anyway it's gonna be red so there I am and I've painted it well it's actually dye again I, I seem to be obsessed with dye so then I put in I felt it was a little bit dull so now I'm going to go in with a wax and what a wax will do is it'll give a nice luster a nice shine to it it'll offer some I guess some depth to it because of um, oh, it just I don't know how to describe it it just looks nice afterwards <laughs> So I'll try and show you uh, maybe a before and after photo with the wax so you can see then I'll rub it off and and then it gets a little bit of a shine on to it as well which is quite nice. Yeah so there you go there is the before and after the wax. Hey, so I hope you all have a good Christmas. Hey, hey Minnie, what do you reckon? Have a good Christmas and a happy new year. I'm going to be putting out a few videos coming up. Uh, I pre-recorded them. It's about the most organized I've ever been. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting the channel. I uh, hope you're having a good time. And it's probably winter where you are. Oh, what was that? I don't know. The gallons fight.